This is the protein denaturation experiment. To start off, here are the materials you will need. Eggs, plastic copper bowls, salt, baking soda, pineapple juice, isopropyl alcohol, lemon juice, and spoons. Here are some safety measures you have to follow. Before, materials needed aren't harmful with the exception of alcohol. Just be extra careful in handling the alcohol. If you would like, you can also use a plastic spoon for the alcohol later on so that you can just throw it right after. During, do not taste anything, especially the albumin containing alcohol. After, wash the utensils thoroughly and dispose waste properly. Now we move on to the experiment. But before that, here's a tip. The first step to all experiments is separating the egg white from the yolk. Separate all the egg whites first and put it in different plastic bowls. It would also be nice to label each bowl so you won't get confused later on. Here's an example of what I did. So now we can start the experiment. First up is albumin and salt. First, add 1 teaspoon of salt into the albumin and stir. Add another teaspoon of salt. After mixing for a while, I noticed very small white substances forming in the albumin. A possible explanation to this is because salt is capable of disrupting the bond and interaction between molecules. When this happens, it may lead to a change in the structure of proteins, therefore denaturing them. Next is albumin and baking soda. First, add a teaspoon of baking soda and stir. Here, as we can see, changes are starting to happen already. After adding another teaspoon, it is now clearly seen that the proteins have coagulated since it's clumping up together. A possible explanation to this is because baking soda is a base. The change in pH may change the charge of the protein, and this can lead to the alteration of the protein's solubility and shape, thus denaturing it. Next is albumin and lemon juice. Starting from this experiment, only add 1 teaspoon of lemon juice as instructed and stir. After mixing for some time, this is what happened. It became a cloudy mixture and there are also these white substances forming in the albumin. A possible explanation to this is because lemon juice is very acidic. Just like the baking soda, changing the pH will also lead to a change in the shape of the protein, therefore also denaturing it. Next up is albumin and alcohol. Add 1 teaspoon of isopropyl alcohol and mix it well. After mixing for some time, the results are quite similar with the albumin plus lemon juice. The explanation behind this is because organic solvents can alter the structure of proteins by forming new hydrogen bonds between the alcohol and protein side chain. The change in the structure will then lead to protein denaturation. Lastly, albumin and pineapple juice. For this last experiment, add 1 teaspoon of pineapple juice and stir. The results are quite hard to see. You can still see something is forming, but it's not quite there yet. Pineapple juice is also an acid. Proteins are still being denatured, but the results are not as clear as the lemon juice earlier. A possible reason to this is because it is slightly less acidic than the lemon juice. Here are the steps for waste disposal. 1. Throw the egg whites onto the sink and down to the drain. 2. Throw the paper bowl and plastic spoon in the trash can. 3. Instead of throwing the unused egg yolk, use it to cook something else as not to waste it. Post experiment questions. 1. Why is milk given to someone who accidentally ingests a heavy metal ion such as silver or mercury? Because milk contains proteins, heavy metals are very dangerous once ingested as it can lead to poisoning and eventually death. So instead of the metal ions acting with the proteins in the body, it reacts to the proteins found in milk, reducing its chances of harming the body. 2. Why are heat and alcohol used to disinfect medical equipment? Because both heat and alcohol are capable of denaturing proteins, through protein denaturation, microbes will be killed since they wouldn't be able to survive without proteins, and that's why heat and alcohol are used for disinfecting. 3. What is protein denaturation? Protein denaturation is a structural change in the 3D conformation of a protein, which, as a result, loses its biological properties. 
4. What factors affect protein denaturation? Temperature and pH level. High temperature can destroy hydrogen bonds, which will unfold the protein and make it lose its function. On the other hand, a change in pH level will also change the charge of the protein and therefore alter the protein solubility and shape. Too basic or too acidic will lead to the denaturation of proteins. 5. If you will recreate this experiment, what material will you use as an alternative to egg white? Explain your answer. A good alternative is milk since it also contains proteins, and when it is being denatured, changes in texture and color for example are visible, so it is also something good to observe.